Hello everybody, um, I'm back with a new video uh, showing the progress on my previous problem I had with the keeping the left hand on the rifle. Just to recap, uh, the left hand is kind of uh, lagging behind and I wanted to fix that. So um, I think I found a solution to this and I wanted to share it. So if somebody else out there has a similar problem, they can go check this out. Okay, so uh, inside my animation blueprint, I had this fabric node. If you haven't seen how that worked, go check it out first. Anyway, so um, on the event graph, I will start out by removing this uh, set transfer left hand transform because I don't really need that one, and also this one and this one. So all we do uh, every time the animation uh, event. Um, Anima animation uh, tick uh, triggers um, we will update the alpha so if I compile this and I just yeah let's just check it out how it looks because now it should uh, it should kind of be not working anymore as you can see the left hand is kind of stuck to the side and it looks really silly so anyway, let's see if we can do this, something about this. <clears throat> um, yeah. Uh, well, the um, thing is, I used wall space, and actually, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to bone space, and I'm gonna say, okay, my end effector uh, that is gonna be my left hand. So I'm gonna input that here. That's one I um, I want. Uh, actually, this is going to be my right hand. Sorry, um, I'm messing things up now. Uh, it's going to be my right hand because I want the left hand to fixate on this one, but with a little adjustment. I will get back to that. I leave the solver as uh, I did last time uh, with the left hand here and uh, the upper arm here. So, uh, with that. I'm gonna start up by removing the effect of transform. Uh, so let's see what happens now when I compile. Well, nothing really so far. Uh, let's see what happens if I pick up a weapon now. And now maybe it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but my left hand, <laughs> it doesn't really help. <laughs> I'm pointing on my screen. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the left hand is kind of, um, maybe it's visible from out here, <clears throat> yeah, you can see it here. It's kind of on the, on the location of his right hand, and that's a good start, actually. So, let's work with this. Um, so, what I did was uh, actually go to the uh, Anim Preview Editor over here, and uh, since I have a number of values that I can uh, tweak, uh, uh, then I can do like this. So it gets him into the uh, rifle stance move uh, stance, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, and also I want to make sure that the the fabric alpha is um, fully in effect, and that pops up this little um, thingy that I can move around. So uh, what I'm going to do now is to move this around. So it ends up in the right position and this takes a little bit of time. Let me see if I can get this right. The camera is so weird. Uh, anyway, I can pause this one. This is kind of moving. Uh, a little bit up here, a little bit over there, and then maybe a little bit more. This looks kind of okay. It serves the purpose anyway. Uh, so let's expand the end effector on the fabric node here. So now I have some values here. Uh, minus 30, let's just make it rough, uh, roughly minus 30 and 13 and three and a half. So if I just click save now, I hope these values will be saved here. And if they don't, I will remember them. Anyway, let's see if uh, it looks different now. So if I pick up my weapon, and it appears to it pop back. So anyway, um, they did not uh, take effect. 
and that happens for some reason sometimes. Um, I haven't really figured out how this works, um, so kind of uh, just played around with this. So let's say minus and 13 and three and a half into that manually, and click save. Whoop. So now the hand is on the gun. Uh, and if I move my hand up and down very, very fast, it keeps getting being sticked to the, uh, to the gun. I think that's pretty work, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this. So, yeah. I hope you guys, uh, yeah, can learn something from this because it took me quite a while to figure this out. Um, but I think the trigger is kind of to use the bone space and just uh, because it's um, this, this is a bone on the same uh, component as my other bone um, bone in the, in the same uh, component that I'm modifying and I kind of have a fixed uh, offset here then it updates immediately contrary to using the world space where I was driving this from the event graph so yeah I think that's it. Um, obviously, you can you can re uh, reintroduce this variable, and then use this to drive from. In my case, I have an equipped item, and you could uh, as on my weapon, for example, I have something called weapon stats. Uh, and weapon stats here, something like this. And if I expand on this, um, it would be quite easy just to add another. Um, values here saying uh, weapon, let's say weapon offset or something and then depending on which weapon you are holding you could uh, give it a different offset and then get the, feed this into the what do they call? the um, effect of transform again so yep I think that's it bye bye